Hi guys, this is module 7, lesson 14. Today we will estimate measurements using inches. Hoy vamos a estimar medidas usando pulgadas. So remember guys, in the fall we learned about centimeter rulers, which is this one here. Okay, and it's made up of centimeters, which are small units of measurement. Alrighty? So en el otoño aprendimos sobre las reglas de centímetros que es esta, y está hecha de 30 centímetros. Los centímetros son pequeñas unidades para medir. Okay. Now we're learning about an inch ruler, which is this one. And inches are a bigger type of unit of measurement. Okay. If we put these two together, usually, let me move these. If I put my rulers together, okay, usually rulers have centimeters and inches, okay? But if you pay close attention, okay, an inch, an inch, okay, here's my inch, is about the size of two centimeters, okay? So it's bigger than a centimeter, alrighty? That's why this ruler, even though they're the exact same length, okay, my inch ruler has 12 inches, but my centimeter ruler has 30 centimeters, because centimeters are smaller, okay? So, mi regla de pulgadas, que es esta, está hecha de pulgadas, tiene 12 pulgadas, y si te fijas, una pulgada es un poquitito más grande que dos centímetros. Así es que um, mi regla, que okay, esta es mi regla de pulgadas, tiene 12 pulgadas, pero la regla de centímetros tiene 30 centímetros, aunque son del mismo tamaño las reglas, Pero es porque los centímetros son mucho más pequeños que las pulgadas. Así es que por eso es que solamente hay 12 pulgadas porque son más grandes que los centímetros. Ok. Y hoy vamos a usar las pulgadas. Ok. So remember guys, we're talking about inches today. Alrighty. So, um, last lesson we talked about how uh, long our shoe was. And most of you guys said that your shoe was about... 8 to 9 inches long, okay, depending, some some friends said 8 inches, some friends said 9 inches, that's okay, all right, but today I want to see about how long is the eraser, so we're not actually going to use a ruler to measure, okay, you're going to estimate, so I'm asking you about how long is the eraser, so take a guess, okay, if the shoe from end point to end point, oops, end point to end point, is about eight inches okay if the shoe is about eight inches long from end point to end point all right eight inches would it be a good guess to say that my eraser is also eight inches think about it the eraser is smaller than a shoe so I don't think eight inches is, is a good estimate but something smaller right I would say maybe three inches or four inches maybe. So I would say the eraser is about three inches long. Alrighty, I would not say the eraser is 12 inches long because once again, look at my eraser. Look at the size of the eraser and you've seen these erasers before, okay? So an eraser is smaller than my shoe and if my shoe is eight inches long, the eraser cannot be bigger than that. All right, so I went with three inches. I think anywhere between two or three or four inches is a good guess for any racer. It's a good estimate, okay? So aquí mi pregunta dice, aproximadamente, ¿cuánto mide la borradora? Y aquí está mi borradora. Hoy no vamos a usar una regla para medir. Vamos a, a, a estimar las medidas, okay? So vas a decir yo... Pienso que la borradora mide aproximadamente algunas pulgadas. Ok, y si se recuerdan a la clase anterior a esta, nuestro zapato lo medimos y medía aproximadamente 8 pulgadas. Así es que mi borradora, como es más pequeña, ustedes han visto esta borradora en, en, en el salón, ok. Una borradora es más pequeña que un zapato. Así es que si mi zapato mide 8 pulgadas, la borradora debe medir algo menor. Y yo pienso que la borradora mide aproximadamente 
yo voy a decir 3 pulgadas, ¿ok? Porque si mi zapato mide 8 pulgadas, no puedo decir que la borradora también mide 8 pulgadas, ¿ok? Porque no son del mismo tamaño. Una borradora es mucho más pequeña que un zapato. Tampoco puedo decir que mi borradora mide más de 8 pulgadas porque es más pequeña que el zapato. Así es que yo pienso que si piensas que la borradora mide 2 o 3 o 4 pulgadas, eh, es correcto, ¿ok? Recuerda, no estamos usando la regla hoy, estamos solo dando un aproximado, ¿ok? So, what about a bed? About how long is the bed? So, think about your bed, ¿ok? And think about a ruler and the inches. Remember we said that rulers have 12 inches on them. So, a bed, right? We know it's bigger than our shoe, so we know it's going to be more than 8 inches. And there are 12 inches in a ruler. But do you think it's only the size of one ruler? If I want to measure it from where I put my head all the way to where I put my feet, okay? That's a little bit taller than you are. So, do you think a good guess would be... The bed is about 20 inches long. I think that might be a little too small. Um, what about the bed is 30 inches long? That's a little bit more than two foot rulers. So I still think that's a little too small. An appropriate guess for a bed from the tippity top where you put your head all the way to the tippity bottom where you put your feet. I think an appropriate guess for a bed is about 60 inches long. Alrighty. So, I think anywhere between 50 to 60 is probably a good guess. If you say like 100 inches long, alright guys, that's way too long for a bed, okay? And if you have a ruler, you can check. So, my guess was 60 inches long. Okay, you can check with your ruler how long your bed actually is. Ok, so aquí tengo que ver que la cama mide aproximadamente algunas pulgadas de largo. Y recuerda que nuestro zapato mide como 8 o 9 pulgadas. Y una regla de pulgadas tiene 12 pulgadas. Pero la cama es mucho más grande que una regla. Si la ves de hasta arriba donde pones tu cabeza, hacia oh, hasta todo hasta abajo donde pones los pies. Ok, una cama mide más que tu zapato. Um, y si yo pienso a lo mejor que mide 20 pulgadas, y 20 es un número más grande que, que la regla, ¿verdad? La regla tiene 12 pulgadas, pero 20 no es mucho más grande que una regla, ¿ok? Así es que 20 pulgadas es muy pequeño para lo largo de la cama, pero yo pienso que la cama mide aproximadamente 60 pulgadas, Ok, y si tienes una regla, puedes verificar. Usa tu regla para medir qué largo es tu cama desde hasta arriba hasta los pies. Ok, pero si dices que una cama es como 100 o 200 pulgadas, eso ya es mucho. Um, porque una cama tampoco es así tan, tan grande. Ok. What about scissors, guys? About how long are the scissors? So think about your pair of scissors that you may have, or scissors we've used in the classroom before. Alrighty, so you measure from the end point to end point. Alrighty. So, try this one out first. Try it on your own. The scissors are about blank inches long. So, tú intenta. Las tijeras miden aproximadamente cuántas pulgadas de largo. Tú escribe el número primero y ahorita verificas conmigo. So pause the video real quick, guys, write your sentence, and then push play when you're ready to check your work with me. So, if I think about a scissor, okay, and let me think about from end point to end point. Alrighty. And if I think about how long scissors are, usually they're about the size of your hand. Right? So look at your hand. Hmm, is my hand bigger or smaller than my than my shoe, right? We're going back to our shoe because we know our shoe is about eight or nine inches long. Um, so I'm gonna say my scissors, maybe they're about the same size as my hand. I'm gonna say the scissors are about 
and I'm gonna go with seven inches long okay maybe you have longer scissors that's okay already but if you say like 20 or 30 inches that's way too long okay and I also don't think that three inches are a good guess because if you think about it our eraser was about three inches long already and scissors are bigger than that so aquí voy a decir que las tijeras miden aproximadamente siete pulgadas de largo porque si recuerdas si tu zapato mide aproximadamente ocho o nueve pulgadas piensa eso con el tamaño de unas tijeras las tijeras son un poco más pequeñas okay pero si dices por ejemplo mis tijeras miden dos o tres pulgadas eso es muy pequeño porque si te recuerdas a la borradora que medimos um, primero la borradora mide aproximadamente tres pulgadas así es que una un par de tijeras debe medir un poco más ok so guys for your exit ticket on class dojo you're going to show your work in your notebook take a picture and submit to your portfolio so Your question is about how long is your pencil? So you should be using a pencil with you in your hand right now. So you're going to fill in the blank, okay? I want to see this whole sentence on your paper. My pencil is about blank inches long. And you're going to fill in the blank with about how long your pencil is. Remember, you're not actually using a ruler. You're just estimating how long you think it is. Alrighty? So vas a demostrar tu trabajo en tu cuaderno. Toma una foto y lo entregas a tu portfolio. La pregunta es, ¿aproximadamente cuánto mide tu lápiz? Ok, y vas a llenar esta oración. Debo de ver esto entero en tu papel. Mi lápiz mide aproximadamente algunas pulgadas. Y vas a escribir tu número aquí. Ok, um, so mira tu lápiz. Piensa a, aproximadamente cuántas pulgadas mide. No vas a usar una regla de verdad. Solo vas a escribir aproximadamente cuánto mide. Ok, y lo entregas a tu portfolio. Alright guys, see you tomorrow.